We're going to look at some terminology, uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary carbons. Uh, this becomes important later in reactivity. Uh, so we're going to look at three different forms of butanol. I'd encourage you to pause the video and try to draw them first. So there's butan-1-ol, butan-2-ol, and 2-methylpropan-2-ol, which is also known as tert-butanol, by, which is sort of an, uh, a common name. All right, so here's the structure of butan-1-ol. All right, and the condensed structure is what I've got drawn on the top, and I'm just going to replicate a full structure just so you can uh, get an idea uh, the full extent of the bonding between the carbon and the, the oxygen there. Alright, next up we'll draw butan 2 all. So what this does, this takes the uh, hydroxyl functional group and puts it on carbon 2. In both cases here, so far I've counted from the, the right, so carbon 1 would be on the far right, so here carbon 2 you can see has the hydroxyl. Uh, and 2-methyl propan 2 all. All right, there's a methyl group and the hydroxyl on carbon 2. Okay. So these are all isomers of the same molecular formula. All right, so these are all C4H10O. All right, even though they don't all bear the same uh, root name, all right, they're isomers of the same molecular formula. Okay. So now, what we want to address is really just some uh, bookkeeping uh, type nomenclature here. The carbon uh, with the arrow here is known as a primary carbon. Okay, it often gets abbreviated by, with a one and a little degree symbol. All right, so a primary carbon is attached to a functional group and then to one other carbon atom. All right, a primary carbon with the alcohol on it there this type of alcohol is often referred to as a primary alcohol. Butan 2 all features what's known as a secondary carbon. Okay, so abbreviated with a 2 in the little degree symbol. Right. A secondary carbon is attached to the functional group, in this case the hydroxyl, All right, and it's attached to two other carbon atoms. All right. Secondary carbon yields a secondary alcohol. And I think you can probably figure out what happens with the third one. Um, the third situation here, we feature what's known as a tertiary carbon. A tertiary carbon is attached to the functional group and to three other carbon atoms. Tertiary carbon atom yields a tertiary alcohol. Have a look at your book because there's an analogous uh, setup for nitrogen atoms that are primary, secondary, tertiary nitrogens yielding primary, secondary, and tertiary amines.